Hello guys, in this video I want to continue to talk about piano axioms. So let's show how we actually can construct a natural numbers from piano axioms. So our first axiom is given us that we given set n. And for this set n we have the element 1 that belongs to the set. So from here we can conclude that element that our set n is not empty. Okay. Uh, what else do we know? We know another thing that we have the function sigma from n to n. So let's draw another set n on the right hand side and also we're going to call this set n. And we know that in this set we also have element. Okay, what else do we know? We know that there is function that goes sigma from n to n. So this is our picture. You know like in math everything, so in this axioms you can think they're fixed. But when we're going to fix these axioms, we can actually build such a structure as natural numbers. And how are we going to do this? First, we're going to start with axiom number four. So axiom number four saying that there is doesn't exist n belongs to n such that phi of n equals to one. And also what is axiom two is telling us is telling that phi of, uh, of one belongs to n. Okay, so let's consider this element one. So phi of one means I'm going to map this element here. But because of my fourth axiom, I can see that phi of one is doesn't equal to one. So it means my phi of one is going to map to another element phi of one, distinct from one. So if I have another element phi of one on the right hand side, it means I also have this element on the left hand side. So you can see before we started with just one element, but we by doing just one procedure, we end up with two elements in our natural set n. And we're gonna proceed and we're gonna continue this procedure. And how are we gonna do this? We're gonna take the second element, phi of one, and we're gonna map this element to our set n. And we're gonna map this our set n, we're gonna get element phi or we're gonna get we're gonna get element sigma of sigma of one. And you can see that sigma sigma of one. So what we want to show we want to show that sigma sigma of one is doesn't equal to sigma of one. So what I want to show I want to show that so far we have three elements in our set. Uh, it's obvious that sigma sigma of one is doesn't equal to one. Why? Because uh, again, the based of the axioms number four, that uh, there is no preimage for element of one. But we want to show that sigma of sigma one doesn't equal to sigma of one. <clears throat> but uh, let's prove by contradiction. Assume that sigma sigma of one is equal sigma of one. Then we're going to use axioms number three. And what axioms number three is telling us is telling us that if we have sigma x equals to sigma of y, then x equals to y. And here you can see that uh, our x is sigma of one and our y is one. So from here follows that uh, sigma of one is equals to one. But it's not true. Why? Because it contradicts uh, the axioms number four. So we construct. Uh, we, so we can see that we constructed another element, uh, sigma sigma of one, and we can procedure this. Uh, and we can continue this procedure. Then we're gonna get this element on the left hand side, sigma sigma of one, and we're gonna map this element again to our set n. So we're gonna get. Uh, actual our natural numbers. So what we got so far uh, Let me can erase this we got so far that uh, One uh, What do we got so far we got so far that our set n is actually is going to be equals to 1 Sigma of 1 Sigma Sigma of 1 Sigma 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 of one but we can use and so on and all these sigmas they are going to be distinct 
So they're going to be not equal to each other. Or we can rewrite this as a formal element, just one, two, three, and etc. So what we just did, we just constructed our natural numbers by using sigma notation.